Hello everyone, in this lesson we're going to talk about the halo alkanes and the alcohols. But first, I just want to quickly mention something about the previous lesson that I forgot to add. It'll be quick, I promise. Just the alkanes, alkenes and alkynes. I just want to quickly show you something. So, when you look at an alkane, how do you know that it's an alkane? What makes it an alkane? Well, it's because it's carbon and hydrogen and there's only single bonds, okay? So, what part of this molecule makes it what it is? Well, it's everything, okay? Alkanes are, they got this, wherever you look, they've just got these single bonds. Now, this, what I'm saying right now probably sounds absolutely doesn't make sense at all. I know. But when I show you the next molecule, then you'll be like, oh, I see why he's doing that. So when you look at this molecule on the right, what makes it what it is? Well, straight away, you're probably going to be like the double bond. Okay. Now back to the alkane. If I now ask you what makes it what it is, it's the single bonds. Now that's why I've gone and madly circled every single single bond or most of them. Okay. Then if you look at the alkyne at the bottom, well, that's the part down there that makes it what it is. This part that makes something what it is, that is called a functional group. Okay. So that's a key concept that you need to know. That's like a definition that they would ask you in an exam. A functional group is an atom or a group of atoms that give a molecule its chemical properties. So it's the part of the molecule that makes it do what it does and act the way that it does. So in an alkane, the functional group, you could literally just draw a carbon-carbon and then a whole lot of hydrogens, okay? That's the part that makes it what it is. For alkenes, it becomes a little bit easier. The part that makes it what it is, is the double bond carbon. And then the alky alkynes is the triple bond carbon. That is the functional part of the group. That's the part that makes it do what it does. So you know that part in a concert at the end where the crowd starts shouting, we want more? Well, that would have been these alkanes, alkenes, and alkynes appearing in this video when it's not meant to for them. So that was terribly random. And now we're going to move on to haloalkanes and alcohols. Okay, so I'm going to start off with the alcohols. So this part over here, now, if you're sitting at home and you were agreeing with me, then you're not paying attention. I said that this is an alcohol, but that's not an alcohol, that is a halo alkane. If you were sitting at home and you said, um, Kevin, that is a halo alkane, well then well done to you, okay? There's a star for you, because you're paying attention. Awesome. Guys, these are not alcohols, these are the halo alkanes, because they've got halogens. So, how did we know that these are haloalkanes? Well, the rest of the molecule is just all these single bonds. Now, we've got a much better idea of that now, don't we, from the previous lesson. We know that the alkanes are the single bonds, okay? But then we also saw a couple of halogens, and so we combine the word into haloalkane. So the homologous name of these is the haloalkanes. Just remember that those it's, it's, it's a type of homologous name. One, it's called a haloalkane. The general formula for these ones is exactly the same as the alkanes. Remember it was CnH2n plus 2. But what we do is we knock off the hydrogen that was originally there. So this becomes a plus 1. And then we add some type of halogen. Okay. Now what many textbooks do is they'll just put an X over here. Because your, that X represents... Uh, it could be chlorine, bromine, any type of halogen. So the general formula for the haloalkanes is CnH2n plus 1 and then X. Whereas if it was just a halo, I mean an alkane, then it was 2n plus 2. So we knock off the hydrogen that's at the end and we replace it with a halogen. And that's why we say plus 1 over here. I hope that makes sense. Remember that these general formulas only work when you've got 1 of that particular kind of thing. So when we were looking at the alkenes, you can only have one double bond. So this guy over here won't follow the general formula because it's got two halogens. And so there's the general formula. Then the next part is the functional group. Now where, where, if we look at this molecule on the left, where was the part that made you realize what it is? Well, it's this part over here, right, where the halogen, it wasn't this part. That's just a normal carbon hydrogen part. And so the functional part is going to be the CX. Now, why is saying X, Kevin? Remember, we said that it can be any type of halogen. So just like in maths, where we use X to represent a variable, it could be CCO, it could be CBR, it could be C... Um, F, for example. But to just show the general scenario, we call it CX. That is the functional 
group. And then lastly, guys, we don't really look at saturated, unsaturated, and things like that for halo alkanes. It's only really the alkanes, alkenes, and alkynes. All right, and here we have the alcohols. How do we know it's the alcohol? Because it's got this OH. Remember in the word alcohol, it's got the OH. Remember that we do get molecules that have an OH and then they have other things. Then it's not an alcohol anymore. But if it's like a normal alkane that just has normal uh, carbon-hydrogen bonds everywhere, and then at one or two or three places, however many, if you've got an OH attached to a carbon, then it is classified as an alcohol. So the functional part, or no, let me start with the general formula. If this molecule was a was a alkane, then this part here would be a hydrogen. And then what you would have said for the general formula, and I remember from the previous video, it would be CnH2n plus 2. But then what we do is we knock off one hydrogen and we replace it with an OH. And so what happens is that this part goes away and it becomes a 2n plus 1. And then we attach an OH at the end. So we go O. H. Does that make sense? So it used to be 2n plus 2, but that's when we had a H over here. We then knock that H off, and so we have to say plus 1 instead, and then we add an OH at the end. So that's the general formula. And so there we have the general formula, and then the functional part. Well, the functional part is this. That's the part that makes this thing what it is. So it's the COH. That gives it the function, and so I'm just going to write that in red, and so there we have it. So thanks for watching this video, guys. In this video, we learned about the halo alkanes and the alcohols.